Andy Cohen admits that he had financial concerns about Kim Zolchak and Coy Bierman prior to their breakup. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. It seems that he knew money would be an obstacle somewhere in their future. Yet, what was his biggest concern about the Bravo alums? And when did he first notice a problem? Read on for more details. It is no secret that Kim Zolchak likes to live large and lavishly. She has a large part of her closet online for sale with expensive items that could set someone back up to 12K. Furthermore, she admittedly loves to gamble. She shared that she was known at the casinos in Las Vegas and even won enough to buy an RV. Unfortunately, she gave all that money back to the casino through her playing. Now, the former couple owes $1.1 million to the IRS, so they have some serious issues that they are dealing with. In a twist, Andy Cohen, who watched Kim rise on RHOA, is speaking out on foreshadowing the financial downfall of the couple. According to Us Weekly, the Bravo host and producer was fearful this would happen. On the Tuesday episode of his Sirius M show, Andy had this to say, there are so many clips of me saying to Kim, I am worried about the way you spend your money. He is not a football player, he is a retired football player. Prior to dating Croy, Kim was supported by the elusive Big Papa as she was a single mother to two daughters. After she exited RHOA, Kim landed a spinoff with Croy and their children, Don't Be Tardy. However, it got cancelled in 2020 after eight seasons. That dramatically affected their income, but Kim always had her hand in different pots. The duo ultimately had four kids together, Kim's two daughters who Croy adopted, and a lot of debt. Earlier this month, it was revealed that she had filed for divorce, just a short time after their Georgia home was set to go on the auction block. Andy is still shocked. Despite Andy Cohen foreshadowing money problems, he was shocked that the couple called it quits. Like many viewers, he saw them fall in love from day one. To see it end is very sad so he did message them. I sent my condolences because it's a sad thing. They have kids and that was just a couple that seemed very much in love. I was very surprised. That was not the news I ever expected to get. They were a couple that I thought they were in it for the long haul. I was very surprised and I am sorry to hear that. Did you think that Kim and Croy would fall apart? More so, do you understand where Andy Cohen was coming from? Let us know in the comments below. In the glitzy world of reality television, where drama reigns supreme and fortunes can be made or lost in the blink of an eye, few figures loom as large as Andy Cohen, the mastermind behind the Real Housewives franchise. As the executive producer and host of the immensely popular Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. Cohen is no stranger to the inner workings of the reality TV machine. But behind the scenes, amid the glitz and glamour, lurks a lesser-known narrative. A narrative of financial concerns and behind-the-scenes drama involving none other than Kim Zolchak and Croy Bierman. For Cohen, whose keen eye for talent and instinct for drama have propelled him to the upper echelons of the entertainment industry, the saga of Zolchik and Biermann is a cautionary tale, one that highlights the precarious nature of fame and fortune in the fast-paced world of reality television. From the outset, Cohen harbored reservations about the couple's financial stability, sensing trouble on the horizon long before the cracks in their facade began to show. At the heart of Cohen's concerns lies a confluence of factors, a perfect storm of extravagant spending, risky investments, and a penchant for living beyond one's means. From the outside looking in, Zolchik and Biermann appeared to be living the American dream, a picture-perfect family with all the trappings of success. But beneath the surface, Cohen sensed a storm brewing, fueled by Zolchik's insatiable appetite for luxury and Biermann's willingness to indulge her every whim. As the mastermind behind the Real Housewives franchise, Cohen understands better than most the delicate balance between entertainment and authenticity. 
While drama may be the lifeblood of reality television, Cohen knows that it must be rooted in truth, a truth that can sometimes be obscured by the glitz and glamour of the small screen. With Zolchik and Bierman, Cohen saw warning signs that could not be ignored, a cautionary tale of excess and extravagance that threatened to undermine the credibility of the entire franchise. But despite his reservations, Cohen found himself caught between a rock and a hard place, torn between his duty to the network and his concerns for the well-being of his cast members. As the executive producer of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cohen was tasked with delivering ratings and driving revenue, a responsibility that sometimes necessitated turning a blind eye to the personal struggles of his stars. Yet, as a friend and confidant to Zolchek and Bierman, Cohen felt a moral obligation to intervene, a duty that weighed heavily on his conscience as the couple's financial woes continued to mount. In the end, Cohen's concerns were not unfounded. As rumors of financial trouble began to swirl and the cracks in Zolchik and Bierman's facade became impossible to ignore, Cohen found himself grappling with the consequences of his silence. While he had hoped that the couple would heed his warnings and take steps to address their financial issues, it soon became apparent that their problems ran deeper than he had imagined. From unpaid taxes to mounting debts, Zolchek and Bierman's financial troubles were spiraling out of control, threatening to derail not only their own lives but also the future of the entire franchise. For Cohen, the saga of Zolchek and Bierman serves as a sobering reminder of the high price of fame, a price that can sometimes exact a heavy toll on those who dare to chase the spotlight. As he continues to navigate the tumultuous waters of reality television, Cohen remains acutely aware of the need to strike a delicate balance between entertainment and responsibility, a responsibility to his cast members, his viewers, and the integrity of the franchise as a whole. In the end, the story of Andy Cohen's concerns about Kim Zolchek and Croy Bierman is a cautionary tale, a cautionary tale about the perils of excess, the dangers of unchecked ambition, and the high cost of fame. And as Cohen reflects on the lessons learned from their tumultuous journey, he remains committed to upholding the values of authenticity and integrity that have defined his career, a commitment that will continue to guide him as he navigates the ever-changing landscape of reality television.